Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I am a part-time seller on the Poshmark app and as well and I also sell on eBay and today I have a thread up um, 30 pounds of denim box that I'm going to be opening up. It's a pretty big box. It's not opened at all yet. I haven't seen what's in it. It just showed up today. Last weekend on Mother's Day, I woke up to an email from ThreadUp stating that um, all rescue boxes were 15% off, so I thought I'd go ahead and order a denim box. I've seen people um, have really good luck with these. I've seen people have some really um, poor luck with these as well. And I used to order a lot of ThreadUp rescue boxes. Um, I had a lot of um, great finds in a purse, a handbag rescue box that I ordered. Um, that was in January. So I started kind of going crazy and ordering too many things from ThreadUp. And I kind of stopped because I got a ThreadUp box that had shoes in it. Um, seven pairs of shoes for $38, I think it was. And I was really disappointed in that one, so I kind of gave it a rest for a while. Um, one pair in there were like some tap dancing shoes without the taps on them. So without that, they're kind of useless. I know you can add them later, but needless to say, I kind of took a break for a few months and I ordered another box. Um, so for this box, I paid, I have a little list of what I paid for this because I have a collective uh, thrift haul and this thread up box to go over today. So this was a 30 pound rescue box of denim for $46.79 because it was $48 with $5.99 shipping but then 15% off the $48 portion. So let's open it up. Um, the rest of the, of the items that I'll be showing, um, I'll go over where I found those and what they, what I plan to sell them for. Um, after we do this box. So let's see if this is a hit or a miss. And if you hear any sounds in the background, my kiddos are here, my dog. I mean, I have this life <laughs> going on around me. So let's see what we have. Paper, denim, and cloth. Um, kind of like they look like crap skinny leggings, or skinny jeans, I should say. Um, it doesn't, the uh, size tag's kind of coming off. They're the Audrey Ankle Zip, <laughs> size 28. I've never heard of this brand, but it doesn't look like high quality to me. And all the items that I purchased between this box and the other items I'll be sharing, I spent $113.81 and I have 30 pounds of denim, 71 items from the Salvation Army, and 6 items from Goodwill, all for $113.81 um, for my grand total. So I'm really happy with the grand total. I'm hoping that I'll have over a hundred items for that um, amount and that would be awesome if it's about a dollar a piece. That's perfect cost of goods. Uh, looks like we have Lucky Brand by Jean Montesano. Size 6 Made in America. I've never heard of this collaboration but this is the tag. Lucky Brand by Jean Montesano. Has anybody ever heard of that? They're like a wide leg, or no, they're a boot cut. Size 6 or a 28, it says. Made in USA. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. I don't know what the comps would be on that. This box is super full. I'll show you guys. This is what the box looks like. It's, it's definitely full. I mean, and it feels like it weighs 30 pounds. <laughs> so we have another pair of Lucky Brand um, 
This is just Lucky Band, Lucky Brand Regular Inseam 025. They have like a flap pocket, button up pocket in the back. Another pair of boot cut. These must be older styles. And now we have a pair of Levi's. Looks like a little hole in the... Oh, I got a surprise. Let's see how much money is in these pack this packet. One, two, three, four, five, six dollars. I'm gonna go out for a cup of coffee and maybe a bagel. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Better check all the packets in here. Got some of my money back. Got my shipping back. It was $5.99 to ship this. <laughs> really funny. So these Levi's, they're just the red tab Levi. That's the only thing in the front pockets. It just says 100% cotton. Let's see if we can find a size. I'm not finding a size tag, so let's, I'll just do some measurements. They're like a button fly. They don't have any zip inside. And they have like some weird, like, custom distressed bleach spots. I don't know. <laughs> They're like a straight leg. Kind of run down. Six bucks. <laughs> Some denizen by Levi's. Uh, modern straight crop, size 10. I'm going to button a button so you guys can see what the... There's the tags. Right, there's the print, and then the tag is right here. This is size 10. Yep, just some straight leg cropped jeans. More Levi's. These ones look like they're in pretty good shape. I don't see any flaws, like significant flaws or big tears in any of the areas. And this denim box could be um, jackets, dresses. Looks like I just came across a jacket. I love H81. I've heard of this brand before and I've even sold a white denim jacket by this before. So this is what the tag looks like. I think I sold it for 15 bucks on eBay a couple of years ago. An American brand, size medium. This is a cute little crap jacket. I bet I could maybe sell for 10 or $15 plus shipping. My nine-year-old's making faces on the other side of my video. You can say hi, Helena. She wants to say hi. Hi! <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we have... <laughs> She's so fun. So now we have a Charter Club jeans. Size 22 wide. Um, they don't look like they have any flaws, but not a whole lot of resale value in some Charter Club jeans. So I probably won't be listing those. I think I'll be listing about half of these so far. Two of the Levi's and that jacket. And the Lucky Brands. They didn't look like they had any flaws. Here's a pair of BDG overalls, straight leg. I'll show you guys the tag, you can find it. Here it is. BDG, size 27. Just a long pair of overalls and they're kind of pegged at the bottom, kind of cuffed. Nothing wrong with them. That's sold at Urban Outfitters. Might list those. I'll have to look at the comps. They're, the completed listings is what comps are. In case you didn't know that. Oh, I think I got a pair of Hudson jeans. Yeah, I did. So there's the Hudson tag. And they're the more, in my opinion, the more sought after. The ones with the flat pockets with the button closure. 
Put some patch. Let's see what size they are. They are a double button zip play. Um, size size twenty eight. The Colin flap skinny crop. Oh, they're crops. Okay. Nice. They look nice. They look like nothing's wrong with them. I'll definitely be listing those. Hudson do really well for me. I've sold a couple pair recently. Sorry, there's kind of some dust in here flying around. Um, log, label of graded goods. It's got European and U.S. sizing. It's a European 44 and U.S. 14. Kind of a burgundy color jean. And color jeans aren't selling as well for me lately, but I'll check out the comps and see what we got. They look a little dated. They got some like fading on the pockets. They look a little dated, but I have consignment shops around me. Um, and somebody might love that color. It's kind of like a grape wine color, burgundy purple. Looks like some kids' leggings, maybe. Yeah, they're not kids, but they're faded glory. So we got some Walmart leggings. Um, zero two, extra small. These are barely denim. I don't. I wouldn't consider these denim. They're like that thin cloth denim that barely passes as denim. I won't be listing them. <laughs> but I didn't find six dollars. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, I got some J brand. They're um, another like purpley wine colored pant. They're barely denim, but they're they're like the really thin denim. They're not bad. They're really soft. So this is what they look like. I'll probably list them. They probably will sell for, I don't know, $15, $20 maybe. Maybe $10. I have to look. I don't, I don't see any flaws. They're just a skinny leg, um, purple, thin jean. Some of you might like those. They're kind of cool for summer. Maybe you could wear them to work. Or... I got another Deniz Denizen by Levi's. Curvy skinny black pair of jeans. There's like the tags. And the spell out. This is curvy skinny. They are a size. Let's see. I don't know. They have a long tag. They don't seem to have a size on them. But I'm going to guess they're about a 30 by looking at them. I'll have to do some measurement. Oh, they're cool. Faded uh, black denim's kind of in right now, so you never know. I don't know what denizen sells for. I've never found it, so or I've never bought it at a thrift store or anything. So we'll see. I have some Arizona favorite skinny <laughs> size zero. Probably won't be listing these, but somebody at a consignment shop might like them. They look like kids' jeans. They're so little. They must be a crap. <laughs> Okay, so that's that. I haven't been counting how many pieces. So, you'll have to let me know. Alexa thought I said her name, so she's talking now. If you guys heard that. <laughs> I have some Madewell shorts in here, size 29. That's a redeeming pair of denim. So Madewell 29s. Vista, cut off. They probably were actual jeans. I'll have to look them up and see if these were actual shorts. No, no, Lillian. That's what they look like. I don't see anything wrong with them other than they might have been jeans that were made in the cutoffs. And if so, I'll just close that in my listing. Um, It looks like I have a release 10 pair of jeans, so we'll see what that is. I don't mind that. It's Flying Monkey. I've sold Flying Monkey before. Um, they sell between like $15 and $20. This is a really tiny pair of Flying Monkey. Some distressing in the knees. I don't know if it's intentional or not. We'll find out. My dog's barking at something. She's heard something. It's okay, BB. So Flying Monkey, they look like they're a size... I don't know. Oh, here's the size right here. 27. 
I don't see any real wear, like, you know, real flaws or anything. So, I don't know. We'll see how much those will go for as we release him and the distressing, whether it's intentional or not. We'll find out. CJ Black Premium. Kind of utility pant with some distressing. These things I know used to be in style maybe two or three years ago, and I'll see if they're still doing okay. It's like an olive pear. A lot of people still love this color, so I'll have to see. I've never heard of that brand. It's the Skinny Flex, size 30, 32. You guys ever heard of this brand, CJ Black Premium? They look like they're okay. They're cuffed at the bottom. Uh-oh, we're coming up on some white jeans, and I already see some. They're not. There's definitely some stains, but they might come out. I might be able to work some magic on them. I treat a lot of my inventory, depending on what it is, and if I think I can get it out, I'll try. It's a pair of Hudson. Um, I'm just buttoning the buttons. We can take a look at the style a little better. They're Hudson white skinny jeans. They have a little, just not like stains, but like marks like dirt. And they have the closure, flat closures. They're like puckered right here though. That's kind of disturbing. I don't know what that's all about, if you guys can see that. I'll have to check that out. That doesn't look very good. <laughs> it's an, un an unfortunate spot, for sure. We'll check it out. I got some Gap 1969 standard 32 by 32. They look like men's jeans, for sure. Just men's straight leg or wide leg. Kind of a gray. They're a neat gray color. I like the color. So that's what they are. 32 by 32. Lillian. No, no. 100% cotton. I don't see anything really wrong with them. I see a little bit of a stain right here that I can try to work on. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yeah, right there. So we'll see. I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm getting that out. Lillian. Massimo pair of shorts are a little tiny, kind of whiskering in the front, size 3, <laughs> they're really little. So these are perfect thrift store candidates, or consignment shop candidates I should say. That's where those will be going. Oh, we got some, we have some true religion with embellished packets. Let's see if all the embellishments are still on. I don't see any missing. You guys see any missing there? They look good. They look like they're practically brand new. They're a size 28. Those are nice. I don't know how well True Religion embellished um, pocket jeans are doing. I'll have to find out. Here's the back catch. Hi! They look like they're a straight leg. So that helps. The straight leg dark wash. With the flap um, button closure. Those are nice. I don't know how well those are doing. I've only sold one pair of True Religion jeans about a year ago. And I sold those for, I think, 30 and they were in a little bit um, older condition than those. Those look like they've never been worn, really. Maybe a couple times. Um, divided by H&M. A little pair of, like, acid wash almost. Little thin shorts. More consignment shop. They're a size 4, but I think they're more like a size 0. <laughs> So, those will be perfect for the consignment shop where somebody could try them on if they wanted to buy them because I wouldn't buy those as a size 4. Um, a Goldie, or a Goldie, a Gold, I think it's a Gold, 
Los Angeles, size 28. All right, good things about this brand for the most part. They're a black, just straight leg, skinny, skinny leg actually. Um, they're just a nice pair of jeans. I don't see anything wrong with them. Oh, a little bit more puckering right there. That's really weird. I don't know how that happens. Is it just like a thinning part of the jean when people wear them? I don't like that. I'll have to check that out. I don't know if there's any fixing that. I don't think so. Um, Old Navy Rock Stars. Raj Hem. I don't know if that's intentional. Looks like somebody probably cut them off. And it looks uneven. <laughs> So those will probably just be going to the donation pile. They look pretty worn, size six. Yeah, those will probably be going to the donation. Maybe somebody can turn them into cutoff shorts or something. It looks like I have a pin. Choose Use Movement. Welcome. It says, welcome to the Choose Use Movement. Inspire others to choose use and help us protect the planet. So I know ThreadUp's motto is to kind of save the planet by keeping all these clothes out of the landfill so they um, do a lot of promoting of purchasing used clothing through their website which I think is great I mean they have this little countdown if you go, ever go to the website that talks about how many um, pounds of clothing have hit the landfill just since visiting the page and it's phenomenal if that's I don't know where they get their information but if that's actually true um, data, it's like thousands of pounds per minute that hit the landfill. That's sad. So I'm a huge supporter of being green and saving the earth. So if I can make a small profit and I enjoy these boxes and I have a lot of fun reselling, why not, you know? So we have some Ann, Ta Ann Taylor Loft. It says Made and Loved. Blue jeans. They just look like a skinny leg, kind of soft, stretchy, size 27, curvy, high waist, skinny ankle. Yeah, I would say that's true. Nice little pair of jeans. Maybe 10 or $15 for those. Some more old Navy rock stars. These ones are black. <laughs> they don't look like they're as run down. I'm just going to button the fly so you can kind of see the style a little bit better. Yeah, they're kind of pegged at the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> More consignment shop or maybe donating. I'll have to look at these all a little better and see if there, there's any real flaws or anything. Denim & Co. Size 6. UK sizing. Size 2 and USA sizing. They have a released hem. I've never heard of this brand. Denim Co. Really tiny pair of jeans. A lot of really tiny pair in here. Some more Massimo shorts. These are cute. I might try to list these. Somebody might like these. They're, they don't think anything's wrong with them. They have really cute um, embroidered Detailing on the back pockets. I like those. Those are cute. They're a size one. Tiny. They are cute though. They look like they haven't been worn. We have a really old style. So they are juniors. Size nine. These look like they're going to be donated. They're a pair of cropped really really old buttons on the side sorry about my dog barking she's barking at the neighbor dogs glow jeans i remember this brand i think just vaguely i don't think i've ever owned any size nine look at the back it's like straight up early 2000s yeah those are going to be redonated Maybe somebody has some, a use for them somewhere. Like a pink coral pair of khakis. They're shorts and they have a lot of staining right here. You guys can see that, a bunch of marks. Gap, really worn looking khaki pink shorts. 
kind of a pretty color, but they're really worn. So it'll be redonated. And there's one more item. Cassil, the denim garden. Cassil, maybe? Size 27. Made in the USA. Designed by David Lim. I don't know anything about this brand. I'll have to look that up. It might be something really good and it might just be kind of a... They look kind of old. They have a little bit of... Like a... I don't know, a stitched on piece of cloth on each pocket with a bird. That's what the back patch looks like. They're not a bad style. They just look like a dated style. Not dated like vintage, but dated in a... Kind of like those glow jeans, but not as worn. Like the early 2000s. I don't know. I don't know anything about this band. Simone Bootcut. The Denim Garden. Cotton and Lycra. Made in the USA. Casil. I'm probably saying that all wrong, but there's more of the tags, if anybody's curious. I don't know. We'll have to check it out. They're just a standard boot cut. They're not bad. I'll have to look them up. I don't know anything about that brand. So that was my thread up box. If you came just for the thread up um, unboxing, that's that. So the next um, items I'm going to go over were some items that I purchased at Goodwill um, yesterday while I was out. And so I usually end up having, if I take my two-year-old with me to the thrift store, I always end up having, maybe if I'm really lucky, 15 minutes. <laughs> So I found these items within that 15 minute window, so I was pretty happy with my findings. Um, I found two new with tag items and two, I would say practically brand new, hardly used items. And so I'll show you my pair of shoes that I found first. They're Keen um, leather hiking shoes. They're like a really pretty rust, it's called Rust Sienna. But there, there's just that little bit of wear right there. And I didn't even um, clip, really clean these up yet. But they are, they look like they're great. They're just, the bottoms look nice. Um, just a nice pair of boot, or hiking shoes. People love these for the summertime. So if you have slow sales of clothing, shoes are a great way to go. Um, any kind of like keen sandals they're just really great all-terrain so in this particular salvation army trip i spent 67 dollars and two cents and i've purchased 71 items i'm reading off my little list um, because i knew i wouldn't remember so remember we're trying we're looking at 113 dollars and 81 cents between the 30 pounds of denim from thread up the goodwill haul and the Salvation Army Hall. So I'm hoping that I have, over, and I'm, I think I do, I think I have over 30 pairs of denim, so I think I'm well over the 100 um, item threshold, which for $113.81, and some of these items I already have listed for $50 each. Oh, my little girl's still getting over a cold, if you can hear her coughing. Um, Anyway, so the Salvation Army, today they had a sale, um, it was 99 cents per item, and then I have this app called Flack. In Southwest Michigan, the Flack app, um, Salvation Army is affiliated with them and uses them to send out like coupon codes and stuff like that to people that are members of the Flack. Um, it's like just a little coupon, little, sometimes you get like a reward um, for like I think 10 visits and you get 50% off your visit, excluding the boutique section, pink and orange tag items off your entire purchase. So it's worthwhile after 10 visits, you get 50% off, you know, for something you're, you're gonna go to the thrift store anyway, if you're a regular 
um, reseller or shopper and you like Salvation Army, which I like mine close by, um, especially when they have the 99 cent sale like they did today. So each one of these items were 89 cents. So keep that in mind because a lot of these things I would not pick up for even over a dollar. But I have a lot of avenues that I can collect between three and ten dollars um, taking these to consignment shops and then like cash on the spot um, stores as well like clothes mentor they will pay you between two and I don't know twenty dollars for probably something that's they're they're, they're going to be able to resell for a hundred dollars because I think that it looks like they give you about thirty percent of what they think they're going to be able to sell it for so yeah, I mean, if it's 89 cents and I can make three or six dollars for literally folding it up, I'm going to wash all these items, but washing them, folding them up, put them in a bag and hand them to them and look around the store and see if there's anything that I would like to purchase for a few minutes and I can make, I don't know, 50 or 100 dollars on some of this stuff, I will. I mean, that's enough, just another avenue and I didn't have to do all the prep work, you know, like taking pictures, of course, steaming it, all the work that goes into reselling, shipping and packing, I mean packing and shipping. So keep that in mind and we'll also go over some of the crazy prices that they expected for some of these items that I would never pay. So I found this LuLaRoe and I never pick up LuLaRoe. For 89 cents, I'll try it because there's lots of little consignment shops and thrift stores and I might try to resell it in the it does look like the comps are what I expect, which for me, I would like to make at least $10 on items, but I shoot, I aim for um, 15 or more. That's like, I mean, especially for something this low of a cost of good, $15 is awesome. Because let's face it, the next item that I found was this White House Black Market career style dress. It's a really pretty um, plaid, black, and gray kind of knee length. Has the slit in the back. It's fully lined. Um, it's a size zero zero. It's the older tag, but it, I think, you know, this dress would, for 89 cents, I'll give it a try. I know this sold for over $100, well over $100 when it was new. And it's still a really new, um, kind of classic modern style. I would absolutely love to wear that. It's got kind of like a, not a three quarter sleeves, but kind of a cute retro style sleeve and a little slit in the sleeve. I just love it. I think it's cute. I think it'd be perfect if I worked in an office. I would, I would love to wear that. I found this Talbot, Talbot's jacket and they wanted $9.99 for it. It is a pretty pink. There's nothing wrong with it. It looks brand new. Um, it's a size 6. It's fully lined. Just a pretty pink kind of career jacket. It's not quite a blazer. It's more of a regular jacket. Um, I found a Mark New York dress in the belt. It was belted and the tie is still attached. So of course I picked that up. Um, it's just a pretty kind of peach, nice summer color, sleeveless dress. It's lined. Yeah, just a nice dress. And they wanted $8.99 for this one. And it is a size 6. I think that should do well in summertime. And I have sold that brand before for $20 or so, so that's, I think that's a great find. Um, I found this Michael, Michael Kors, extra large, teal, great uh, maxi dress. It's got pleats. It's really pretty. It's a sleeveless, just a regular top, um, but it's floor length. Somebody pretty tall would need to wear it, or you'd have to wear some really... I'm 5'6", and it definitely um, would be too long for me. This is a really cool find. It was. It's just a really like high quality um, cachet uh, vintage halter top dress. It's like a thick, I don't even know what this material is, but it's really thick and nice and there's no fading or anything, but this has got to be from the 90s. It's fully lined. 
So I have small, so is the dry cleaning tag on it. And the cachet is really expensive. Salvation Army wanted, it's just a nice little black dress. Nice for summer. Somebody might want it. They wanted $9.99 for it. So I can see why some of these items made it to the 99 cent day. For sure. Um, a Jones wear dress, size 8. I just thought this one was really cool. It's like an empire waist. Just a cute um, fit and flare. It's really nice. It's pretty. It's just a great color. It's not see-through at all. It's a nice thick satiny material. It's pretty. I had bought these for my nine-year-old. I thought they were so cute. Looks like somebody kind of did like their own thing with it. And maybe they're made like this. I don't know. But they're just little little jean shorts. That's those. Um, I did buy a couple of Old Navy pieces. I think this is Old Navy. Yeah, Old Navy Extra Small. I just thought this print was cute and it looked practically brand new. It's just a little sundress. It's like the elastized back. Nothing special, but somebody would like it. I sell Old Navy for $10, $15 all the time. Um, especially on eBay, people will pick up old navy little items, or maybe they'll pick it up in a bundle on Poshmark. It's a size extra small. Found another of the same Lulu, um, Lula Row. <laughs> I must said Lulu Lemon, Lula Row dress. They wanted ten dollars for it. This one's just kind of a blue and reddish orange floral pattern. I don't know the style name off the top of my head, but it's a size small. Just like the other ones. Maybe I'll lot them up if one doesn't do, you know, well enough on its own. I'll have to look at the completed sold listings. I don't sell blue the row often. Um, an Ann Taylor Loft 8 Petite. And I don't always pick up petites, but this one was pretty. It's um, got a tie around the waist that's still here with little, I don't know, just little square beads on the end. It's just a nice black lined career style sleeveless sheath dress. Everybody loves having these. Um, it's got like a mac turtleneck. So people like these. Um, there's a little slit in the back. Might be a nice career dress or seems like a nice travel dress. It seems pretty recall resistant. It would travel well in a suitcase. Um, I bought this. It's just the limited, but I thought it was cute. Size medium. Black and white stripe. I just like the pattern. I thought it was really pretty. I thought somebody might like it. It's lined. Nothing special. Like I said, about 89 cents. I mean, might as well try it. And these skirts do really well. It's an Athleta. It's in awesome condition. It's like a thermal lined, fleece lined um, athletic skirt. And obviously, all, this, all these things need to be washed. It's not faded or worn at all. It's got zipper pockets. This is a nice thermal skirt. This is a size medium, like I said. I bought this. I've never bought this brand, but I've heard of people doing well with it. And it's just a nice silk purple semi-sheer sweater by Joseph A. And it is a size extra large. Thought somebody might like that. I bought these. <laughs> the consignment shop I go to, they like love having men's items and they're too big for my husband. Um, that's just a Massimo pair of swimming trunks. Nothing wrong with them. Just a, somebody might buy them for $10. <laughs> or they'll go to the consignment shop. That's one bag down. Let's see what else. I did pick up a few pairs of jeans. I think mostly American Eagle and I found a Chico's, so. Chico's Platinum, which I don't know how Chico's Platinum does. Um, I sell Chico's all the time and I'm okay with 10 or $15 for them if that's what they're fetching. Size zero short, somebody has a need for them. 
They just nothing wrong with them. Just a little pair of jeans. So like a size small because that's a vanity sizing. Chico's is all vanity sizing. Zero is a size small. Um, American Eagle stretch. Favorite boyfriend jeans. Just a pair of boot cut jeans. Nothing special. Um, they just looked nice and for 89 cents. They're just a size zero. But I thought the price was right. Um, I sell American Eagle in my Poshmark closet and on eBay for around 10 to $20. Here's another pair of American Eagle. I'm just buttoning the buttons. You guys can get a better look at it. American Eagle. These are another boot cut. Another little size, I think. American Eagle size zero zero double zero pair of jeans. But these do well at my consignment shop that I take clothes to. Um, I can make six or seven dollars on each pair easy. Um, a Reebok. It's not really the time of year for a long sleeve athletic shirt, but a come you know, like New Year's resolutions or this fall, somebody will be in need of a pretty kind of sweat wicking Reebok top. Here is an Eileen Fisher that I found. It's just a rayon, pretty blue. I don't see any flaws. Size extra large top. I could probably sell for $20 or $30. So I was pretty happy to find that for $0.89. Cents. I found this Free People semi-sheer tank. And I probably wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't $0.89. Cents, but somebody will want it for $10 or so, dollars, I'm sure. It's pretty. Just a nice semi-sheer tank. Nothing special. Found this Hollister. This I, I definitely had my consignment shop in mind when I found this. It's just a little, I think it's size three. Size three Hollister. They wanted $7.99 for this. Hollister little denim skirt with a rod. Um, it's cute. Tiny. Perfect for the consignment shop. Um, J. Crew, kind of a chino short. Just a red and white stripe. Perfect little summer basic. To be able to get 10 or so dollars out of that. 10 or 15 maybe. Just some red and white striped chinos. Uh, tail bits. Size 10. Blue and white striped Bermudas. Another good summer basic. Be able to get ten or so dollars out of those. Um, these I picked up because they were new with tags. They're just Mossimo, but they were originally twenty dollars. Maybe somebody will buy them for ten dollars. Since they're new with tags, they wanted ten dollars at Salvation Army, which kind of cracked me up. They're just a size two, but they're really nice. They're just a. Uh, let me button the buttons or fasten the clips. They're just a nice little Bermuda. You can dress them up or dress them down. Nice basic. So hot cotton. I have to credit Carly from the Poetry of Nice with recommending this brand. Hot cotton. Um, it's a linen blend. It's like 50, 55% linen and 45% cotton. And it's just a basic. But she says this brand does really well and I thought I'd take a chance at 89 cents. I didn't even look up any comps while I was in the store because um, my little girl's grandpa came, my husband's dad came to watch my youngest daughter while my older daughter was in school and I had an hour and a half with a 40 minute drive time all together. So this is stuff I picked up in like 40 minutes of time. I did find this. I thought this was a cool, um, a good score for summertime. It's a torrid size two dress. It's a maxi dress. It's really pretty. It's just a striped sleeveless gathered at the top of the 
tank sleeve vertical just some stripes on it it's blue and blue navy blue and teal pretty I thought somebody will love that and then this is when I pick up like mall brands I don't mind mall brands at 89 cents people look for them they like them they can count on them they know what they are buying um, this is just an express I thought it was really pretty just semi sheer size small floral really pretty sleeves if I get 10 bucks for that, I'll be happy. <laughs> you hear my little girl talking in the background. Um, another White House Black Market. I thought this was a really interesting tap, but I thought I'd take a chance on it. White House Black Market size small. And it was $7.99. Just like this. I don't know what you'd call this style. Like a balloon sleeve bottom I don't know like the bottom it's kind of like baller it reminds me of like ballerina sleeves it's fine somebody might love that I got this new with tags um this is a crazy price that Salvation Army wanted $19.99 for Banana Republic factory size small Originally $49.99 at Banana Republic Factory, but it's just this blue little dress with adjustable spaghetti straps. <laughs> I might be able to sell for $10. I'd be happy with that. Or, you know, sell the clothes mentor. <laughs> Salvation Army is crazy about some of their pricing. Um, I found this Ann Taylor Loft silk blue shirt. I just thought it was a nice basic pretty shirt. It looks like the hem. Uh-oh. Nope. That's going to go to the donating pile. The hem is coming undone. So here's a mistake. See, when you're in a hurry, you're going to miss stuff like that here and there. That's okay with these prices. Um... A Lowell, I hope I'm saying that name right, Lowell or L-O-L-E, Lolly, Lowell, I don't know what the brand name is, but I just thought this was a pretty coral color, athletic kind of style dress. It's got a cute zipper pocket in the front. Somebody might like that, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it's a nice little dress. And then I found this. It's a really long Venus. Venus does well for me. I usually sell it around between $15 and $25. Uh, maxi uh, strapless or sleeveless dress. Kind of a mint and gray stripe. Just a basic dress. I should be able to sell that for $15 or $20. And then I found this. Cool Disney collab, um, Alice in Wonderland collection, designer collection by Colleen Edward, I think it says, or Colleen Atwood, size medium. And it still had the tie. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just a cute little dress. Looks like a size medium girls. And I thought somebody might be looking for that. It's really pretty. <coughs> My kids are getting over a cold if you're on the coffee. Um, I have this Banana Republic. Really pretty. Size zero Banana Republic. This uh, it's, it's a dress with pockets, so that's always nice. It's just a really cool pattern, kind of tie-dye-ish. Nice vacation little summer dress. Thought that would do well this summer. And then, you're fine. This I just picked up by, from Style. It's Aeropostale, but they love this at the consignment shop, if nothing else. It's not coming through, but it looks like it's brand new. It's a nice like dark navy blue but look at this embroidery on the bottom it's really pretty 
Just a size small, little tiny dress. It's cute. Right off the shoulder or on the shoulder. Okay, let's see what's next. I picked this up and I had my consignment shop in mind. It's a long sleeve, so I'll take it in this fall. Um, it says, don't let go of your dreams. It's just an American Eagle tee, long sleeve tee. But they can probably sell it for six or seven dollars. Which means I'll get three fifty. Three or three fifty for it. Because I get half of whatever they sell it for. This is a m I don't pick up Maurice's often, but at eighty nine cents and I love the style of this. It can either go to the consignment shop or I can resell it if the comps look promising. This is a cute little peasant mauve colored top. And this is like a real, I've never seen a shirt like this from Express. But I guess I don't really shop there either. Um, it's just a sleeveless maxi dress, but it's a real like, it's a high-low, it's a really high-low tank. Like it's just a tank. I wouldn't want to, I don't think I'd wear this as a dress at the back. So it's kind of a high-low maxi tank dress, shirt dress. This is cool. It's just a window pane forever 21. I'll take it to the consignment shop with a blouse. Okay, I had to pull another bag closer. And I have my dog barking at anything that moves outside right now. So I'm sorry if you guys have to listen to the dog barking. Um, this is a Zenergy by Chico's lime green little jacket. Um, I've sold a couple of Zenergy pieces. I can usually get 10 or $15 out of them. So that's all this is. It's just a Vandy sizing one. It's like a size small. Cute little green jacket. <laughs> this is an older J. Crew piece, but last time I had a piece like this, somebody really loved it. So I picked it up. It's just the kind of three quarter bell sleeve, little jackets. I know these used to be super popular, but why not? For 89 cents, we will give it a go. Hi, Lillian. Hi. Um, I found this Hannah Anderson uh, cotton lycra blend. Um, it's like a, it's a jacket, but it's also a dress. It's like a dress jacket. It's really cute. So it buttons up in the front. It's just a navy blue. It's an adult size small. Pretty dress, or pretty um, dress jacket that will do well this winter. So I'll list that in the fall. And Alfred Dunner, I've actually picked up a few shirts and they sold like the day that I picked them up. I've never picked up this brand before, but I went to this rummage sale a couple weeks ago and picked up two Alfred Dunner shirts and as soon as I listed them, they sold for $10 a piece and I think I paid 10 cents for them. So of course I picked up this jean jacket. How much is this gonna sell for? It's got some neat embroidery. Seems to do really well with the older crowd. It's really cute, I mean, it's really, it's pretty. And for 89 cents, I will give it a go. Oh, she needs help opening her Play-Doh. Okay, let's try this again. We're getting there. Oh, I found this Champion. It's like a real thin, like great for running. It's got like this mesh in each sleeve. It's just a purple kind of abstract floral and black. Just well, probably a running jacket. It's just a champion brand, size medium. C9 champion. Um, should be able to sell that for 10 or $15 easy. Especially come fall, people want jackets. And this I had my consignment um, store in mind. I think this is just a classic little 
cute dress. They wanted $10 for it. It's just Donna Rico, but I bought it from Style. Um, it's a size four, Donna Rico, New York. It's got like a semi-sheer overlay. It's just a pretty little, you know, like a formal dress for a homecoming or whatever. <laughs> That'll do great at the consignment shop. They could sell it for 10 or $15. Um, this is a nice Venus dress. It's just a red kind of sheath dress, extra large. I could sell that for $20 easily. It looks brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh-oh. She lost her Play-Doh tool. You need some help? No. Okay. I don't want my help. <laughs> All right. So the next item is a, I don't know this brand, but this is genuine leather and the and Salvation Army was asking $20 for it, which I can see that for a coat, but it's definitely not coat season. It's a fully lined, genuine leather, Colebrook, Colebrook & Co. leather jacket, size medium. But it's just kind of a, a basic, classic style leather coat with no flaws. You could probably sell for $25 or $30 on eBay easily and plus shipping. Sorry, I had a notification I had to get rid of. And this next dress, I want to say this is a just an old navy. Yeah, it's an old navy small, but it's so cute. I thought somebody would love it for summertime. It's like a racer back, just an A-line dress. I like that pattern, and it's lined. My nine-year-old's getting into things in the cupboard on the other side of us. Um, I found this Mizuno size medium like running jacket and I might keep this for myself. I love it. It's got a pocket in the back for, you know, like your keys. It's really like a nice deep pocket. Kind of bought it for myself and then it's got like your, you could put um, like headphones in here or whatever you want. Um, I always take my dog running with me if I can. Um, so I would put like, you know, the doggy poo plastic bags in here so I don't have to hang on to them. I like packets and jackets like this. It's just a nice little jacket. It's got a few more packets, like a perfect packet for a cell phone inside. So I thought that was a nice find for 89 cents. Now this dress, I bought stack, um, on style alone. It's really cute. It's a strapless dress, but it's it's just Windsor. It's kind of a boutique -y mall brand. But look at this pattern. It is so pretty. It's got like a floral. I might wear it a couple times before I resell it. I like this. It's got some lined um, padded like a shelf bra inside. It's really pretty. I love it. I think it's cool. The it's size small. It's real stretchy. Just a comfy, it's not real see-through either. Just a nice comfy summery dress. Looks really pretty. So those are two things for myself. <laughs> this is just a, a Lauren by Ralph Lauren size 4 sheath dress. Just a basic sheath dress. Blue and yellow and white. Somebody might really love this. I, you know, I sell these kind of dresses. $20, $25. I'm fine with that. It's got like a tuxedo stripe on the side. It's pretty. It's just, it's a, it's kind of an older style, but it's fully lined. It's nice quality. So we have one more bag to go through. We're almost done. Okay, let's continue this haul. My little kids are ready to have some mom time. So this is just an Ann Taylor loft, but I, pair of shorts, but I thought they were cute, cute little very short size four. Kind of a cheetah print. Cute. You can hear my little girl running around. Hi. I'm almost done. So I found this Max Studio kind of chambray denim. Cute little dress. Like off you could wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder. 
I like the elastized waist in this cute design. And I saw Mac Studio between $15 and $25. Maybe not the chambray, chambray dress, but a lot of sheath dresses and wrap dresses for between $15 and $25. This one might go for $10 to $15. I'd guess about $18, but for $0.89. Cents? Heck yeah. So then I found this pair of bullhead um, size 28 mid-rise skinny fit jeans. I like those for 89 cents. They're just, I've sold some bullhead jeans. They might sell around $10, $10-$12 plus shipping that they sell on eBay. Um, I found this linen blend Banana Republic factory size 8 pair of kind of like a crap crap pants. They're kind of like long chinos. They're nice. That'd be nice and cool in the summer. I think somebody will love those. I don't see any flaws or anything. I thought those would be a nice addition. So anyway, earlier I was saying that my um, father-in-law came to watch my youngest daughter and I only had that little bit of time. So some of these things, if I was just on my own, I was able to thrift at leisure whenever I had a chance. I wouldn't pick up a lot of these things, but since that's not the case, um, I pick up a lot of stuff that I can just make a little bit of money on, and that's okay, because I know I have avenues I can use, I can utilize to make that money. Here is a pair of, <laughs> I'll, you'll get a kick out of this, a pair of Rue 21, size 3, denim shorts with a raw edge hem. Salvation Army was asking $9.99 for these for Rue 21. That is crazy. That, that's like at the most what you get out of them. It looks like they retailed for $22.99. But they, you know, they run sales all the time for Rue 21. Probably buy these brand new there on sale for $10 easy. But anyway, 89 cents. We'll give them a go or the consignment shop will love them. I love this little athletic skirt. Um, if it fits me, I'm going to keep it, but it might be a little big for me. It's just a lucky and love. I've never heard of that brand, but I thought it was cute. And if I can't wear it, somebody might like it at the consignment shop. Just a little ruche side. Um, Built-in shorts, of course, for running. I love to run, so this is perfect for me. I have a couple of Nike ones like this, but I like this color. I don't have any gray ones, so it's another item for me. That's three. <laughs> um, this one I was pretty excited about. It's a Free People Silk Blouse. It's a size small, but it's just an oversized like a lot of Free People um, is. So there's the tag. You guys know what free people look like. It's just a plum purple semi-sheer blouse. Cute. Somebody will like that. Um, a Banana Republic stretch. And I buy a lot of this stuff because like clothes vendor will buy it for three or four dollars a lot of the time. Red. Banana Republic. Basic. Just a basic. But at three or four dollars, and if I take ten or fifteen items there, you know, you're looking at thirty or forty dollars. Minus your eighty-nine cents. <laughs> I mean you can't go wrong. So another banana republic basic. And this one I might list. It's cute. It's just a teal. I'll wait till fall, probably. I don't always wait um, for seasons, but sometimes I do if I have a lot of items I can list ahead of time. Because I'll be I'm sure sourcing consistently from here on until fall, so that one might get pushed to the back burner. Or I might just take it to Clothes Mentor or my other little consignment shop. And this one, I wasn't familiar with the brand, but it's like perfect condition. It looks like it's probably just a boutique brand, but they'll like it at the consignment shop if I can't resell it. Emerald, size small, but I like the color and I like the style and it has a cute little um, knotted detail at the bottom. And I even thought maybe I might keep it and wear it a couple times. 
Um, here's like another basic shirt, uh, BKE. It's really cute though. It's like a wrap style, faux wrap. My battery's dying. Um, I have 20% left. So BKE, size small. A brand I probably wouldn't pick up. It's just a small brand they sell at the buckle. But it's a cute shirt. I think it would do well this fall. Maybe now. We could wear it over a pair of shorts on a beach night or something. And then Chaser, this is a nice brand. I thought this was a nice find. Chaser. It's a basic, but size medium kind of waffle knit. Basic shirt, but that does well. Could get fifteen, twenty dollars out of that. The t-shirts for Chaser sell for thirty, thirty-five, forty dollars, but a basic like that's probably twenty or less. I guess. <laughs> Thinking about it, I bought this because I thought it was cute, and somebody might really love it. It's a just a maternity dress, but it's really, it's really pretty. It's a size large. Um, and I sell maternity clothes on eBay once in a while if I find something really pretty. But look at the bottom of this. It's really pretty. And if um, nobody likes it on eBay this summer, then I'll take it to the consignment shop. Or maybe I'll take it there first. Because I know a lot of moms don't want to buy brand new um, maternity clothing. It's really expensive at a lot of those like motherhood maternity stores. When I was pregnant with my youngest, I couldn't believe the prices. And just for a few months, <laughs> um, I'd buy secondhand anytime over paying those prices for some of those things. So this is um, American Eagle. It's soft and, the soft and sexy line, which does pretty well. I could probably sell this for $20. It's really cute. It's like an abstract skull. It's a crack shirt. They are really soft um, material tops. And I found another one too. When I get to that, I'll show you. This one's just a really basic active life, extra large sweatshirt. Probably going to the consignment shop or clothes mentor. I thought somebody would really like it. It's super soft and like fleece lined. Active life. Nothing fancy at all, but maybe I can get 3 or $4 out of it. Maybe I can get $10. I don't know. I haven't looked up the comps. I've never sold it before. Um, another banana. I'm just sipping it up. A Banana Republic Basic Mac Neck Tap. Cute color. Like a blue marble. Size. Extra small. I'd definitely wear this in the winter time. I think it's so cute. I used to work um, where I'd have to wear career clothes. And now I still work at the same place, but I don't really have to wear career clothes. I work on the weekends um, as a pharmaceutical tech. Pharmaceutical quality. And then our next item is... It's just a, like an American Eagle kind of marled, heathered red shirt. But I thought that can go to the consignment shop and somebody will really like it. And then this I thought was cute and it's new with tags. It's just no boundaries, but somebody will like this. This style is really cute for summer. And since it was new with tags, I don't care. <laughs> Maybe somebody will buy it for eight or nine dollars or I can take it to the consignment shop. It's cute, just a little junior's So then my next item was the second um, American Eagle Soft and Sexy Size Small Long Sleeve Tee. Kind of a high-low. I love this. I think it's nice. And I know somebody would like it or I might keep that one. Um, this is just a little skirt for my little girl. thought that was cute. And then a shirt for my little girl. thought that was cute. Um, a Cynthia Rowley, like, <laughs> I don't know what this is. I have to look up the fabric content, but it's kind of like a suede material, like a shift dress. 
It's really pretty, like a, I don't know, but it's just an extra large Cynthia Rowley shirt, or dress I mean, it's like a green, it doesn't, it's not faded at all, it's just the color, it's like a sage green, I just thought it was nice. And then last but not least are these blue asphalt, um, really high waisted shorts. These, this brand does well at my little consignment shop, so that's where these would go. And that's it at the haul. Thank you so much if you're still here with me watching this. I appreciate it. Um, I'll be back with more thrift hauls and um, other things that I find. I thought somebody might enjoy seeing what I found for um, all of this for under $113. And um, kind of doing like a conservative educated guess on what I'll make for this. It'll be between $500 and $700. Um, anywhere up to 1000 It just depends on if I choose to um, list some of these like Banana Republic items or take them to Clothes Mentor because of course I'd get a little bit more, but I have to consider my time too of listing it, of prepping them, washing them, listing them, packing them, and shipping them. So that's all I have today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.